It's hailed around the world as one of the masterpieces in Pollock's career. The sheer physical size of Mural was absolutely unprecedented for Pollock. Peggy Guggenheim commissioned the picture after Mondrian and Duchamp gave her the nudge and said, this guy's really good. That was unprecedented. And to the other artists, this was like hitting a home run in a World Series game. The public was not familiar with this kind of art. They were mystified by it and sometimes disturbed by it. The CIA becomes involved because the State Department organizes a few exhibits of American art and then ships them around Europe. During the Cold War, abstract expressionism was advanced as the American art form. Regionalism was sort of viewed as commu-Nazi art. Our artists are so free, they can make art that nobody understands or even likes, but it doesn't matter because in America we're all free. And when Peggy Guggenheim decided to move back to Europe in 1947, she was looking at institutions that shared her approach to art and artists. So she wrote to her friend Lester Longman and said, I'm shipping you a painting. You'll have to pay this shipment, but it's yours for free. There was a huge discussion about how we would recover from the flood. Congressman makes a requirement that the mural be sold. It was valued, after all, at something around $150 million. The Getty did a real service to humanity by restoring that picture. My first question was, well, how big is it? And when he told me, I said, absolutely not. That's too big. Muir is an icon. Its influence is absolutely enormous, and there's a ripple effect. I mean, the Pollock mural is really a wonderful story of modernism's mobility. 